Welcome to my channel and my new in for autumn taste test video. Now, ordinarily, when I do a taste test, I like to have 10 products and they'll either be 10 branded products or if I'm doing, say, M&S or Asda, it would be 10 products that are own brand M&S or own brand Asda. For this video, I'm doing something a bit different. I'm going to have five or six items and they'll be five or six branded and then five or six supermarket owned brands. The reason I'm doing this is one, to help keep down costs. Two, I don't have a lot of room in my planned upload schedule to add in lots of taste tests. And I'll want to do more once more Christmas items start to come in. And three, well, it would leave me with an awful lot of food to eat. And if you've watched my recent videos, you'll know I already have quite a lot of leftovers to work my way through. So I'm going to begin with new in items and I'm actually starting with a drink. And it is this Nescafe Gold Salted Caramel Mocha Coffee. These were £1.70 from Sainsbury's, but I believe they are cheaper from other supermarkets. And to keep it simple with the branded items, I'm just going to give you the price I paid and I'll tell you if I remember where I bought each thing from. So hopefully this is cooled enough. Ooh. Okay. It does taste like salted caramel when you first sip it. And then the sort of more mocha taste comes through. And there is a sweetness to it that you don't have with the ordinary mocha in this brand, which I have quite a bit because I love it, even though I have a coffee machine. I rate this and if you like mochas and you like salted caramel, this is a very delicious coffee to add to your collection. It's a caramelized biscuit flavored popcorn by Proper Corn. I got this from Asda for £1.80. Now, I don't like popcorn. I don't hate popcorn. I just find it really, really bland. My memories of it are going to the cinema with my cousin and she would get a big thing of popcorn and it would either be sweet or salted, but only on the top. And she never, ever finished it. It just smells like regular toffee popcorn. It's not like dislike popcorn. It's just there are probably a million foods I prefer. Chewy. Bland. Sweetness in that bite. It's popcorn at the end of the day and it just tastes sweet. There's maybe the tiniest hint of the sort of Biscoff biscuity flavour. But honestly, if I didn't know, I would probably think it was just normal toffee popcorn. It's not that special. I'm not a popcorn lover, so I definitely won't buy this again. If I was, I don't know if I would buy it again because there might be other brands that are cheaper and just as nice. So for me, proper corn is a no. Mr. Kipling Plum, Pear and Cinnamon Pies, £1.75 from Asda. The pies Mr. Kipling do, I tend to find are quite nice. It's their cake slices I'm less fond of, but I'm planning to include some of those in my Christmas content. So it's got a pair of stars on it. So I guess these are technically Christmassy. But never mind. I've got them now, I'm eating them now, and I probably should have got a plate. So it is much like any other Mr. Kipling pie, if you are familiar with them. If not, that's what most Mr. Kipling pies look like. The pastry is nice. I can taste that it's not an apple and blackcurrant flavour of fruit. I don't know that I could pinpoint the exact fruits that it is, and I don't think I'm getting the cinnamon. I may as well just finish it. They do have a tanginess to them that the apple and mixed fruit pies do not. I like these, and if they were on offer, yes, I would get them again. 
£1.50 from Sainsbury's, these Go Ahead Fibre Jacks in blueberry flavour. They also do raspberry, but I just fancied blueberry. Now, I do not like flapjacks, so I do not honestly know if I'm going to like these. God, they're tiny. Decent thickness, I guess, and it looks, from what I can tell, like a flapjack should. I really don't know. As I say, I don't like them. I don't eat them. I actually like this. It's chewy and it's not dry, but it's not really sticky either. It's sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. And you do get the blueberry taste. I don't know if I'd get them again. I might if they were on offer, but there are a lot of other snacks I would go for before I would go for a flapjack. But if you want something a bit different and that is individually wrapped, so good for taking, out and about with you, this could be a winner. Next, I'm going for one of these Banoffee flavoured Muller Light Greek yogurts. If you are a regular viewer, you will know my opinion on Muller Light yogurts. However, the Muller Light Greek ones I do actually like. This I found in Morrison's for £2.25. And because it was Banoffee flavour, I could not resist. So it's nice and thick, which is what I like in my yogurts. It does taste of banoffee. This is really nice. I will definitely have these again when they're on offer. Not much else I can say about it. Let's move on to the final branded item, the new Goo Inspirations Chocolate and Honeycomb Dessert Pots. £3.50 for the pair from Sainsbury's. I did a video where I tried all the Goo cheesecakes. One of my earliest videos, not one of my finest, but there we go. At least I have improved. So this is what it looks like inside. Make sure I've got everything on the spoon. Mmm, this is incredible. It's very sweet and very rich, but you get the chocolate biscuit base. You've got the sweet, intense caramel flavor, the lovely creamy sort of cheesecake there and the crunchy honeycomb on top. Mmm, only thing putting me off these is the price, even when they are on offer. They are still really expensive, but if you want to get yourself a treat, this is really, really good. Did I say the Goo Cheesecake was the final item? If I did, I lied. I forgot. And how I could forget that I had this in the freezer, I do not know. Found in Iceland, £3.50 for a pack of four. I wanted this for the thumbnail. And if I hadn't remembered I needed to take a thumbnail, I might have missed this out and that would have been a travesty. This is going to make a mess, isn't it? I can tell. Oh, it's going everywhere. I went and got a plate as well because this is probably going to be messy. So you've got your ice cream, you've got your biscoff on top and you've got your cone. Mmm, I like this. It's a lovely creamy ice cream, which does have Biscoff flavouring to it. You've got the Biscoff crumb on top and then you've got the chocolate coating. It's really, really yummy. It's not a super strong Biscoff flavour. So I actually quite like that. And I think these are a hit. This new and taste test is M and S. Now, I did get a couple of Halloween items because it's autumn, it's Halloween. So I'm gonna begin with an eerie eyeball, which is decorated white chocolate with a raspberry flavored caramel center. This pack of, 
It comes up on the receipt as bloodshot eyeballs. This pack of five bloodshot eyeballs will cost you three pounds. So there we have one eyeball. This is really good. The raspberry flavour is so tangy. It cuts through the sweetness of the white chocolate, which is really creamy. And the caramel, which I wasn't sure would go with raspberry, but it does. These are a definite hit. Next, another Halloween item, cookies and screen. Two pounds, so I would say better value than the eyeballs. Um, white chocolate with milk chocolate and dark biscuit crumb with a soft white chocolate and biscuit. That's what you get inside the bag. If I can actually open it wide enough for you to see. So each one is a pretty decent size. The white chocolate coating, well, you can see a bit of the dark colour through it, but I guess if it is cookies and cream, you do want that. These are absolutely gorgeous, but very sweet. I have a sweet tooth. I'm called Cows Loves Cakes, but I couldn't eat all of this bag in one go. I think I could probably eat three, maybe four at most, before I would start to feel sick. But yeah, another winner. Now for the most expensive item of the day. I'll be honest, I did swither, that's a good Scots word, over whether or not to get these because of the price, but my M&S is not that big and I didn't want to end up just getting a load of Halloween sweets. And when you see what I got, you'll understand why. Golden blonde chocolate and toffee cookies, five pounds. Daylight robbery. All butter cookies filled with golden blonde chocolate and toffee pieces, but I cannot see how many you get in the tin? It's probably going to be something like eight, which is ridiculous because it's so expensive, but everything is these days and M&S was never cheap. Eight. So that's what you get in your tin. You could definitely fit at least one more in there. Normal sized cookie, they do smell incredible. These are amazing. They've got the lovely shortbread buttery taste. They are shortbread, so they are very, very hard biscuits. They're not chewy. You can clearly taste both the blonde chocolate and the toffee. It's an awesome combination. They're another winner, but I'm not going to be buying these again unless I see a yellow sticker. And even then, that still might be more than I'm willing to pay for eight biscuits. So I'm going to be taking my time with these. Mm. Fresh from the microwave. So this is very hot. The trio of dim sum. So you get six pieces three pounds. So you get two steamed rice pastry filled with broccoli, edamame, soybeans and asparagus, two filled with a mix of mushrooms in a hoisin sauce and two with mixed vegetables topped with sweet corn, carrot and edamame soybeans. So I've never had dim sum in my life before. So I am not going to be able to tell you whether or not these taste authentic. But I like the sound of the ingredients and, you know, half the point of starting this channel 
is to try new food that I've never had before. The green one, it says to eat them with a spoon, is the um, broccoli and asparagus one. They smell nice. It's a very similar texture to the coating on the mochi, the ice cream mochi by Little Moons that I had. However, I actually quite like it in this form. Maybe it's because it's hot. I would say that one that I just ate is a bit too peppery for me. So I'm gonna try the mixed vegetable one, which I've completely mangled, but at least you can see the inside. <laughs> Completely different taste to that one. It's not peppery. You can taste so many different vegetables. I don't like sweet corn on its own, but in things I don't mind it too much. And that one was delicious. So I'm now gonna go for the mushrooms with the hoisin sauce. I don't know that I like hoisin sauce, but I love mushrooms. That's really good. Two of the three flavors for me are really lovely. The third I will eat in from this pack, there's only one left, but I wouldn't get this pack again because I don't like all of them that much. And three pounds does seem quite a lot, but I think you can get them as part of a meal deal, I'm not sure. So two of them are very nice. One of them, it's just too peppery for me but I will definitely be trying dim sum again. And now I've said it, I've got to do it. I'm gonna switch up the spoons. Four pounds, 75 for two. It is the golden blonde chocolate puddings. Biscuit crumb topped with layers of sauce and mousse made with white chocolate with caramel. As soon as I knew I was going to be doing new in from m &S, this was the first thing that I wanted to get. I would not buy them for any other reason, because they are way too expensive. But I told myself I need them for this video. They do come open, there's no lid on top. So, it means I can't really save the other one for very long. I do quite like the jar though. I'll probably keep that and wash it out and use it for something. So you might see it in future videos. That's amazing. I could do without the biscuits. They're soggy rather than crunchy, but that mousse is divine. m &S, why do you have to be so expensive? Why? So of the five items that I've tried, four of them, if they were reasonably priced, I would definitely have again without hesitation. There's only one. I wouldn't get and that is the dim sum purely because one of them was a bit too peppery for me but yeah I am now going to be trying new in items from Asda if this is your first visit to my channel you probably won't be aware unless you're psychic or something that I have to get my Asda deliveries online because there isn't a store near me that I can get to easily. The downside of that is that they don't always bring exactly what I've ordered and that's what has happened in this case. So I am going to do the products which have arrived and then separately I will see if I can get the other products that they couldn't supply this time. I've got these truffle and parmesan skin on fries which I'm going to go and put in the oven. I just wanted to show you the packaging. These take 14 minutes and they cost £2.25. But to me, they sound like they could be really delicious. Limited edition apple spiced muffins, £2. So these are filled with a Bramley apple and custard filling with a sweet spiced dusting. I think these are gonna be messy, but my God, they're massive. Look at the size of that. Kind of in the box, I'm rolling my sleeves up, things are getting serious. In the box, they kind of look almost like um, donuts. So I could pull the top off, but I'm gonna try and bite through it so I get everything. Oh. 
all the flavours are there. I can taste a cinnamon spice. I can taste the apple. I can taste the custard, but the actual muffin, it's really dense and quite stodgy. I mean, you do get quite a bit for your pound, but I don't think I would get them again. So very excited for these shoe nuts because these are not just any shoe nuts. They are sea salted caramel and blonde chocolate shoe nuts, three pounds. I love blonde chocolate and I love caramel. So to me, these sound heavenly. Well, one of them certainly looks more appetizing than the other. So I'll go with the one that looks better. They're stuck together. Okay. It's filled with a sea salted caramel sauce, which does taste of salted caramel. And you can also taste the blonde chocolate. I really like them, but are they worth three pounds? They're really nice. I might get those again, but I do feel three pounds is actually quite a lot, but prices are indeed going up. Time for a drink now with this fruity watermelon refresher, pound fifty. It does smell of watermelon, but something else as well. And I can't put my finger on it. It's got watermelon and lime juice in it. So maybe it, it's the lime. It's very refreshing and I do like it. And I think if you want something a bit different and you like watermelon, pound fifty. I mean, it's fruit juice. So that is probably a fair price. I don't know that I like it enough to get it again, but I will enjoy drinking what is in the bottle. Here I have the fries straight out of the oven. Now I have put them in a bowl because they give you the truffle and parmesan separately and you have to pour it on and then toss the fries. I thought I'll do that in a bowl because if I try to do it on a plate, I will literally toss them everywhere. It's got that unmistakable earthy smell. This is meant to serve two which if you're having it as just like a side, it probably would, but for me, this is like the main part of my lunch. So this is me tossing the fries. The coating is actually sticking to them really well. I have never had chips like these before, even in a restaurant, so I won't be able to compare them. There we go. Mmm. I do not need to add any seasoning to these. These are wow. The chips are fluffy and crispy on the outside, and the parmesan and truffle together. Mmm. Definitely would get these again and would absolutely recommend them. Yum. Asda part two. Now I have put on the same jumper, mostly so when I'm editing, I know that this belongs with Asda. Because I get my Asda delivery online and I wasn't sure that I would be able to get all the items I wanted, I did end up ordering quite a lot more than five or six. I'm only going to include five or six of them in this YouTube video. The rest I'm going to put on TikTok and I'm not always going for the caramel options in this video because much as I love caramel, not everyone feels the same way I do. So in order to make sure I'm covering as many different tastes as possible, I'll be trying various other flavours. So this is the slice of the Asda Caramel Latte Cheesecake. They do come as a pair, £2.75. I did want the Golden Blonde Muffins. I've tried twice now to get them. They just don't have them in stock. I will get them at some point. They're just not gonna make it into a video. 
That is a very large bit of cheesecake I have got, but never mind. It does taste of caramel latte, but the flavours need to be much more intense and the base tastes a bit soggy. I would not get these again. You can get a whole cheesecake for not much more than you pay for a couple of these slices. And in my opinion, they're not worth it. Also £2.75, M&S take note, £2.75, so much cheaper than your cake jars. From Asda, I've got this birthday cake flavoured cake jar. Yes, I got the Trillionaires one. I haven't tried it yet, but I thought I would try this one in the video for you guys. So it's not quite as well filled as the M&S cake jar, but not far off. bit of everything on the spoon. It's not as sweet as the MS one, but I really like this. I do still really like the MS one, but £2.75 versus, is it four quid or have they gone up since, since I last bought one? I don't know, but do like it. You can still get a whole cake for about the same price. Nice as it is, it's still not value for money. So no, this would not be a regular purchase for me from Asda. But it is delicious. It's now time to do a taste test of new in products from Sainsbury's. The first thing I want to show you are these mushroom and brie truffle rolls. These were £2.25. Now they can be eaten as they are, or they can be heated up. And if this is not your first time here, you will know I prefer to have things like this hot. So 15 minutes in the oven, that's what I'm gonna do. And while they're cooking, I'll get on with trying some of the other goodies. But I should say some of these items were on offer and my receipt doesn't tell me which ones were on offer. And even though I bought them this morning, I can't remember. This is the Autumn Edition Bramley Apple Crumble Yogurt 95p. They did also have a plum yogurt and I was really tempted by both, but I thought it's best to just stick to one yogurt for the taste test. So I went for the apple crumble. It's a pretty thick yogurt, which I think is a good thing. And you can see there are, I hope you can see, plenty of chunks of what I would assume are apple. Apple crumble flavour yogurt with oats. It does indeed taste like apple crumble. There's a tanginess from the apple and then the yogurt itself is really creamy. I really want to try the plum one now. This is delicious. Caramelised biscuit buns, £1.75 for the pair. This is how they looked when I picked them up off the shelf. So not at their best, but it was the last pack that they had. This is messy. It feels very doughy and the topping is not very even. The caramelised biscuit filling, which you can see some of there, is really tasty, as is the topping, but it is a very heavy bun. I would personally prefer it if it wasn't quite so dense. I like them, but I don't love them and I don't think I would get them again. Now, I am definitely a cereal girl, but I don't tend to go for sweet cereals like this. I like fruit and fibre. I like Rice Krispies. I like porridge. But this was new and I thought I would give it a try because I've never had a white chocolate and strawberry cereal before. £1.50 for the box. 
So I will be back in a minute with a small bowl. I just took it out of the box to open it and look at that. All the strawberry bits are at the top and at the bottom, there is virtually nothing. That is already a point against this in my book because you're gonna get loads of strawberry bits in your first bowl full and then where are they for the rest of them? So if you do get this cereal, I would advise giving it a good shake. I'm very carefully trying to show you my little bowl of cereal. It tastes to me like sweet popcorn with some freeze-dried strawberries in milk. I won't be getting this again. I'll finish the rest of the box because I've got it and I don't want it to go to waste, but this is the kind of thing that I think would work really well as a topping for yogurt or possibly porridge or anything that has some actual flavour to it. That means you won't really be able to taste this because, yeah, it is just like popcorn, but, you know, from the very bottom of the bag where the topping hasn't quite got down. Do not get this cereal because, believe me, you deserve better. Three pounds for this pumpkin spice cake, which I am very excited about because pumpkin spice is one of my favorite autumnal flavors. It's described as a pumpkin spice flavored cake with cream cheese frosting and a spice dusting. So I did go for just a small slice. Can smell the spice coming from it. Mmm, this is delicious. When you've got a solid sponge like this with no buttercream layer in the middle, it does mean it needs to not be dry. And this is not dry. The frosting is not too thick and not too sweet and really, really creamy. I rate this and I would definitely get it again if it was on offer. Mmm. I did decide to do the whole pack because this is going to be my lunch. But first of all, Sainsbury's, what's going on with this guy? What did this poor little roll do to deserve not to be topped? I'm going to try a bite of this one and a bite of one of the others because I feel that is the only way to do a fair comparison. Hopefully, I'm not going to burn my mouth. So these are brie, porcini mushrooms and chestnut mushrooms in puff pastry. They're very hot. There is quite a bit of gapping, but I suppose that happens. I can't really complain about that. It's actually not got a lot of flavour to it. The pastry's nice enough. You do get a bit of the earthy mushroom taste, but I'm certainly not tasting any brie. And let's see if having a seeded coating makes a difference. The seeds definitely add texture. This has more of a, a peppery flavour to it. It tastes more seasoned, whereas that one doesn't really taste seasoned at all. I am absolutely crazy about mushrooms. I'm not crazy about these. I would say if you want something like this, go for Higgity. You get six in the pack rather than four, and they are so good, but these, not worth it. It's time for the final supermarket in this new in autumnal video. But fear not, dear watcher, if this is the kind of content you like, there are going to be so many new in videos coming up as we go into the festive season. There will be lots more for you to look forward to. But for now, I'm going to get on with doing a taste test and review of some new in products from Tesco. 
For those who are not regular viewers of my channel, Tesco is another supermarket where I have to get an online delivery and they don't have a bakery section the way they do in-store. So I cannot get any items that come from the in-store bakery, which is extremely frustrating, but may explain why in this and future videos, should you come back and watch more of my channel, do not include items you would very much like to see me doing. So first I'm gonna try a Halloween cupcake, £1.50 for the pair. Chocolate flavor sponge cakes with chocolate sauce centers, and then they're topped with vanilla frosting and pumpkin decoration. Well, they do look very festive, if you can call Halloween festive. I'd ordered the Wicked Kitchen pumpkin spice cupcakes, but unavailable. So I've got these ones instead. It's a decent enough size for a cupcake. And I think the ratio of sponge to frosting is good. Perfect sponge, moist, rich, chocolatey. The frosting is sweet, but that sweetness is cut through by the sponge, which is less sweet. So all in all, I think a very nice cupcake. Probably wouldn't get them again. Chocolate flavored cakes, not my favorite thing. And also it is quite expensive, but they're cute enough. Three pounds 25 for these four trillionaires cookie cups. Four milk chocolate chip cookies covered with caramel buttercream and finished with white chocolate drizzle and chocolate coated crispies. I can tell you right now, however amazing these are, I wouldn't get them again at that price. It's a good size though. So even though it comes in like a cake wrapper, it's definitely a biscuit because it's hard. You can feel that. And that's how it is underneath. I'm pretty sure this would taste better zapped in the microwave. It tastes like a cookie. There is the hint of caramel. It's got the crunchy cookie texture and the soft buttercream, but it doesn't have loads and loads of flavor and the cookie is quite tough. I'm somebody who loves a big, soft, chewy, bendy supermarket bakery cookies. The little pre-packed hard cookies, not so much. Nice enough, but not worth £3.25 Tesco, I'm sorry. Since I'm now technically halfway through Tesco, I'm going to do the one and only savoury item. I'm sorry guys, I did try to get more than one. It just, they didn't have them available. So three cheese hand-cooked crisps, £1.25, which I think it's a decent price if they're nice for this type of sharing bag. It's reasonably well filled. I am not immediately hit by a cheesy smell, however. They smell very much like ready salted. They definitely have a cheesy taste. Definitely more of a quaver flavour than a what's it flavour. If I'm eating a bag of crisps this size, I would get a bit bored of the flavour after a while. Saying that I am someone who will eat a bag this size of ready salted or salt and vinegar crisps, no bother, but they're nice. And I certainly think they are on a par with bigger brands, but I wouldn't rush to buy them again. Tesco caramelized biscuit bites, £2.75 for this 280 gram tub. Belgian white and Belgian blonde chocolate coated caramelized biscuit pieces with marshmallows and crisped rice. I really hope these are better than the offering from Asda. And indeed that is how it opens. Not very full, very, very sweet smell. Much better than the ones I had from Asda. I can taste the blonde chocolate and I can taste that spicy 
speculoos flavour. The textures are great. There's so much going on in even that half bite I took. Marshmallow, the crispy rice, the texture of the chocolates. I do like them, but I wouldn't get them again because they're very expensive. You don't get a lot in the tub and they are extremely sweet. I couldn't eat a lot of these in one go. The final item is this chocolate and salted caramel cake, £5.50. Now, I had a voucher for £5, so this technically cost me 50p. I know Tesco have a pumpkin spice cake out, but it's not available for me to order online. I couldn't get it. And I really wanted to try this because if you know anything about me, I am all about the caramel. Apparently this serves 10, not when I cut it. From the outside, it certainly looks good. Thick buttercream layers with the lovely chocolate cake, which feels moist and quite light. This is a really good cake. The texture of this sponge is incredible. It's so soft and so airy. The icing has a lovely caramel flavour, but it's not overpowering. And even though it's quite a thick layer of buttercream, it's not sickly sweet. And the two flavours balance each other perfectly. I am surprised that I actually love this cake. The only thing that would stop me getting it again is the price. It's a bigger cake than, you know, their standard ones, which are now about three pounds, but used to be two pounds 75 or two pounds on special. But if you need a cake for an occasion, it could be a cheaper option than one of the supermarket ready-made birthday cakes. I like this a lot and it is a fantastic way to end this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Feel free as ever to drop me a comment in the box below. And I do hope you'll come back for my next video because you know, Halloween is coming up. Take care and stay spooky. Bye.